everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is well. I want to thank everyone for the support and all the subscribers, thank you. Today's video is going to be like an kind of in-depth like everyday makeup routine because obviously I post videos on Gabby Does Makeup but obviously they're like little 30 second clips so I thought I'd do kind of like an in-depth tutorial. I don't know if anyone's realised but I have cut or my mum cut my hair cue the clips on facetime to my best friend this is my reaction to when mum was cutting my hair um a bit over dramatic as you can already tell realizing i kind of look like violet Fredables. before we get into do any makeup i'm going to use this eyebrow razor that i recently actually bought this basically like I don't even know if it's doing anything because I literally can't see. So I have to bring them out like really close to me. I actually bought these to um, do the dermablading thing. I don't know if anyone's seen that on TikTok or on Instagram. I tried it, didn't work. Maybe I just got a bad razor. I usually pluck up. These have come in quite handy. Sorry if this mirror keeps coming into like the shot. I kind of get away with it in my makeup videos on instagram because i can just have my little mirror when we do anything we need to make sure we've got like a nice base so i put on the nivea soft refreshing soft moisturizing cream but there's literally none left literally so i just put this all over my face um okay i'm sorry if you can see this faint tie. i literally tried to scrub it's so much um my makeup routine kind of differs um depending on if i fake tanned or not so i've got a little bit fake tan there so i'm going to do like god I, I can't say it i'm gonna do my simple everyday fake tan makeup routine oh my god that's such a mouthful it hasn't been posted on instagram this is just kind of new always put so because my skin had like a dry moment it was Mm. it's gotten better let's just say that so i put like moisturizer on like my brow bone and underneath my eyebrow hairs if that makes sense this next trick is mama mitchell i don't know if anyone's mama mitchell is the inspiration for this next trick i always do I used to fill my eyebrows in and then carve them out but i actually carve my eyebrows out first so i get a shape and then i fill in the gap i can't see we've established this so i start at the top of my eyebrow i don't carve it the actual shape of my eyebrow i add a bit more space i recently plucked my eyebrows to try and do the fox eye trend i'm starting to do kind of a fox eye but not as thin we just blend it in lighting's going a bit crazy sorry i need to turn my brightness whoa like drag the concealer out so then i can give myself more of a tail oh i'm intrigued all the faces i pull in this video oh my god this is so much better what was i even thinking of using that i don't know i don't know what was going through my head but so what i did is i just fill in the gaps and i'm also taking the tail dragging it out i don't really know the terminology for this i'm not the best with words or the most illiterate person but I'm trying okay i just like carve out the tail i don't actually put any product here because i kind of like the ombre look i think that's the right terminology i need to wet my beard blender i don't know where all the accents are coming from so do excuse that i think it's because i haven't had a drama lesson in a long time it's not good okay i do a mix of foundations sometimes i put moisturizer into the mix but we're running low on moisturizer so i'm not gonna use any today just put on the back of my hand the revolution pro foundation mix on illuminating they're like droplets so you may have to have a bit of patience with that MUA pro base pro wear matte foundation in the shade 130 studio fix fluid by mac it's got SPF 15 in it in the shades NW15. Usually I just put the MUA one and the illuminator if I didn't have fake tan, but I have a little remnants left. So 
I really want like um, a yellowy toned, a yellow toned illuminator, but I just don't know. I don't think Revolution do one, so that's fine. Then take my Beauty Blender. It's looking a bit worse for wear, but I'm ordering a new sponge. I'm gonna order the microfiber one. My cheeks are really red at the moment, so we're gonna have to like cover them up. Um, my freckles not really coming through evenly spread this out of my face and I will go in on my neck because my neck looks very very patchy look at the redness and it's just disappearing I love this and look at the shine or the glow but when I put it on down on my neck I take this stippling brush by Kiko I'm just gonna take it down and just blend it in quite self-explanatory but recently what i've been doing is using this burberry fresh glow bb cream and the nyx um it's it actually had a concealer on the other end but that's got lost and it also ran out so that's fine um and the contour and i basically just blend these together on the back of my hand it gives me a good outline of where to put my bronzer and contour so that's good so I don't know I kind of I really do recommend this if you are into cream products because I'm starting to come a lot more into like cream bronzers and like cream contours I never used to use them I always put it underneath my lip a little bit of my nose my temples and my cheekbones blend out with my beauty blender I'm sorry if you hear my chest squeak it is so annoying as well usually I listen to music while I'm doing my makeup and then I don't really hear it squeak but the first thing I'm gonna do after quarantine is over is I'm going to buy a new chair like that's it because I'm over this squeaky chair I'm not I'm not okay with it I'm going to use that lasting perfection concealer okay so hear me out um I actually got the color corrector in the shade lemon because I found that most of the concealers this range by collection are very pink toned and I think I have more yellow tones in my skin. I don't actually know what yellow is supposed to target in colour correcting. I should probably find that out. I know it's not purple tones because that's like peachy orange for like the under eye bags. I never really use colour corrector. I think I used to use it the green one on spots but because i think green targets like red tone I'm, like if i'm doing like photos slash when i did this photo shoot i put like concealer on my forehead but i'm i don't know i'm just not a usual thing i do i'm just putting it underneath my eyes really really trying not to make the most stereotypical concealer or mascara face it looks a bit crazy at the moment. The powder usually tones it down because it looks quite crazy at the moment. Some of my RCMA. No colour powder. I'm literally, this has lasted me so long, but when this runs out, I don't really know what I'm going to do because I don't have any other form of powder. I don't even have the stain mat anymore. I think I used it all, or, or it's smashed, probably smashed actually. That's a good pressed powder. You have to get this online, this RCMA, I think. I don't really know if you can get it from Boots or Superdrive. I got it off Beauty Bay, so obsessed. So do you see what I mean? It's like kind of toned it down. It's literally like smooth. She, I used to put powder all over my face. Now I could never do that. Um, I take the Hoola bronzer. But the higher you put it up, the more like... Is it smaller than your face looks? The cream contour has really helped me with the guidelines, so that can really help if you're like beginning to use makeup. This is what sets in the cream products. I also put just a little bit on my jawline. It's a Smashbox contour palette. I think it's in the shade light. I don't actually know. I don't even know if it got shades. But I take this brush by BH Cosmetics, I think. I got it from TK Maxx, like this gold set. Take the contour shade and I just go in and I basically, so like the line here, or like where the bronzer stops, 
I basically put the contour and it just fades and blends in with the bronzer I put on. The difference between bronzer and contour is um, the bronzer is more warm toned and the contour is more cool toned. I'll give a little an example in the actual palette. So this one is quite warm toned and then this is quite cool toned. Sorry the lighting's going a bit manic. And then we go underneath um, on the jawline. Take the same shade and I basically put it underneath my lip again. I put it on my nose and I like... A lot of people are finding different ways to do or contour their nose. I just do the two lines. And that is that. I can't believe I used to bake like here. That's how. I don't know why I did that. Uh, maybe that's how that made my skin go dry at one point. Highlighter. And I take the James Charles Morphe palette. <gasps> Are you joking? My nail has not only ripped, but it's also ripped halfway. This has actually happened for the second time now, and it's with this palette, opening this palette, both of my thumbs, nails have broken off. I can tell which one I use. It's literally an eyeshadow, it's not even, I some, I, yeah, I blend it with the highlighter in the actual palette, but I don't just use that separately. If you can see, like, the natural place that's already quite glowy, like here, I'm basically going to just take the highlight there, so, um... This is like the key when you put on um, moisturiser, definitely put on moisturiser, no matter if your skin is dry or oily, that is something that is very, very important because some people think that um, just because they've got oily skin doesn't mean they should be moisturising their skin because it would put more oil into their skin when it, you should just be moisturising your face anyway, you just need to find the right moisturiser for you. Then I'm taking this Revolution brush. My nose on the bridge as well, just a little inner corner. So I've usually been using this one by MAC. Um, I've actually been using this one by Too Faced more often, like recently. So my trick is to warm your mascara up. I don't know how you want to do it. There's loads of ways you can probably do it. You can heat it up with a hairdryer if you want. But to be honest with you, I can't really be bothered for that. So even just putting it like on your waistband, like of like your trousers or skirt or whatever you're wearing, um, just to warm it up. Sounds really weird, but it's a hack I've seen and it has worked miracles. I basically curl my lashes quite a lot takes you quite a few tries to get them up but the more times you do it the more they hold I don't actually know how many times I do this I just do it to the time I think that they're curled enough each time I go in with the eyelash curler I curl them for longer so you can kind of already see that that the thing is I always forget to curl the end what I do this is actually quite risky, I really realise. So if you're um, in a comfortable position to do this, because you could actually rip out your eyelashes while you do this, but I like... Oh my god, this is so tense. But we've got the brush now. So I take the colours away and I start coating my eyelashes. I've seen on TikTok loads of people just doing the mascara routine and eyelash routine and Jesus, the lengths they go to. Some people use like two different mascaras and like take wands into different mascara products and I'm just like whoa, I mean the eyelashes look insane and amazing but I just don't have the patience. Little coat on the bottom lashes. This mascara for the bottom lashes is this one. I take a spoolie and just the clumps. There's not many clumps anymore, but a trick I use if I ever get mascara on my eyelid 
once the mascara is like dried i go in with a spo spoolie and like scrape it off instead of wiping it off and like say you've got concealer on your eyelid then you have to put concealer back on and everything so it's just a good situation all round little mark there from the mascara so i'm gonna wait a little bit i think that's one of the last things i'll do completely forgot to do this this is the brow tattoo quite a thick consistency so if you do get it on like your skin you're gonna have to like wipe it off but i just run this through my eyebrows and i brush most of my eyebrow hairs up especially at the front for the feathered look do you see what i mean now i'm gonna take the kiko lip scrub um and just wipe the rest off Good thing about this with the wipe is you can kind of outline because you probably have some makeup left off on your lips. So I'm gonna quickly just do some finishing touches before I do my lips. So if you can see, I've got this like freckle. I don't really know. It's been there for a while. It's gray underneath the makeup. So I use my eyebrow stuff that I put through my eyebrows and Put it on top there you go and then i take a lighter shade and then i've got like a couple of little freckles here and here and then one here i don't know if you can see that that little scar i'm basically taking this primark lipstick um it's a luster one and it's in the shade in the buff there we go you finally got it is outline my lips i'm not gonna fill in my lips then blend almost like a lip liner but this is so much more smoother than an, or any lip liner that i own looks pretty even if you ask me as she says going back in with the lipstick and then i just i'm now taking the lip gel by nk makeup i got this online so just take it and then so after all the chaos, we are finally done. I've took the clips out, put some earrings in, and I've put this really cute necklace on. If I missed any products, please do comment down below. I did recover the nail. I shall see you in the next video. I hope everyone's had a good day, and I hope my video has helped some people. Bye! <laughs>